Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of Photo Joseph's Photo Moment. Those of you who are around this morning probably knew something was coming, something was up, and yes, it is. The GH5S has just been announced by Panasonic, and I am going to take you through what it is all about. This is this video is going to be in two parts. The first part, we're going to do a very brief, just less than five minutes overview of the top features, and then we're going to restart and do a second video. Don't worry if you're watching live. No, nothing's going anywhere. If you're not watching live, just click the link at the end of this one, and we'll get into a comparison and a discussion. We'll compare the difference between the GH5S and the GH5 and have a discussion about it. So if you've got any questions, cue those questions up and get them ready. But for now, let's just take a look at the top features. So here's what we've got in the GH5S. First up, it is an all-new 10.2 megapixel low-light multi-aspect sensor. 10.2 megapixel, very, very low resolution. What the heck does that mean? Well, the whole point here is that when you have a lower resolution sensor, you can have bigger pixels, bigger pixels, better for low light. So this is a camera that is all about low light capabilities. Next up is the dual native ISO 400 and 2500. So right now you've probably already figured out what this means. This means that this camera is really, really geared towards the video shooter. Low resolution sensor that is still sufficient for 4K shooting. It's over 4K, of course, but not really ideal for stills at only 10 megapixels. Low light capability, though, is fantastic. With the dual native ISO shooting at 400 and at, was it, 2500 ISO native, that means that if you're in a low light situation, you can have absolute minimal noise. Fantastic. We'll talk about more of this, of what it means in the next video as well. Next up, Cinema 4K and 4K at 60p and 50p. So Cinema 4K, that's the biggie there. If you were shooting Cinema 4K before, that is the slightly larger than 4K, uh, 4K resolution, that is a true cinema aspect ratio, you could only shoot up to 24p in the past. Now you can shoot at 30p and even 60p at that resolution. Next up is the 10 frames per second at 14-bit stills. And the 10 FPS isn't exciting, but it's the 14-bit stills that is. Because of the low light capability of this sensor, what has essentially happened is the bit depth has expanded to accommodate more of this low light capturing capability. So you are getting a higher bit depth sensor on this camera than you were previously. And again, we'll compare in just a moment here. Next up from there, is Vlog L is pre-installed, so that's no longer an additional purchase. Vlog, that is of course the ability to shoot in Log V for Vericam, that's the Vericam Log Lite that is included in the GH series cameras or is available in the GH series cameras. Uh, that is now included in there. And then finally, oh, two more. Here's kind of a big one. No in-body stabilization. So this is actually a step down. Now there's a really, really good reason for this. For a lot of cinema applications, putting a, a camera in a car, putting it on a set where there's going to be explosions, things like that, the, the stabilized sensor is a movable sensor sitting on a field of magnets, literally floating, you can't lock it down. That's not physically possible. So that means that if you're shooting somewhere where you do not want the sensor to be stabilized, the GH5 actually doesn't work for you. So that is what the GH5S does. It takes out that stabilization. There's some other things that come on when you do that. We'll talk about that in the next video as well. Then there is the time code in and out. So this is something that was missing on the GH5. We now have on the GH5S the capability to have time codes. So if you've got multiple cameras on set and you want to synchronize them, you have that capability now via time code. So that is the main feature set. There's more to it than that, but those are the big bullet points. We're gonna step out right now and uh, queue up the next video so that you can see a comparison between the GH5S and the GH5. And for those of you watching live, get your questions ready because we're gonna hit them now. Thanks.